Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is, what is today? <laughs> today is Tuesday, uh, July 5th. <laughs> uh, I wanted to hop on here and do my roundup real quick for June. <laughs> I'm forgetting the days and the months and everything. That is totally normal me, but that's okay. Anyways, I got the house to myself for a few minutes. Devin took the kids over to his dad's house, so I'm going to uh, take a moment to record. <laughs> and also, uh, them sit and like do nothing and <laughs> just enjoy the quiet. But um, yeah, that's that's usually the only route time I stay home is when he goes to their house just because that gives me time to be alone <laughs> for just a few minutes. Uh, but I, you know, I do go over there sometimes, so just sometimes I decide to stay home. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into it. So in June, I had, uh, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight finished projects. And one project carries over into July. And then I started one, well no, two carries over. <laughs> but anyways, so the first thing that I finished was the Poolside Bucket Hat by Sarah Satch. It's a free pattern. All these will be linked below if you wanna check them out. And I'll pop up pictures, hopefully. I used an eye hook, which is a 5.5 millimeter, and I used Lime Brand Ice Cream Cotton Blend Yarn Rainbow. <laughs> so that was a really fun to make. I enjoyed it a lot. And then my finished objects two and three were two of the bookie squares, both version, one of each version, from Anna at Anna's Crafty Amore. Uh, it's a paid for pattern. It's out now actually, so I'll link that below. And I for them I used a G hook, a 4.5 millimeter. And I used some um, DK Annie's yarn. It's like, it's the Annie's brand, so I didn't have like actual name and all that. So I don't know what it was. <laughs> and then number four was my Queen Elizabeth, which is in the book, oh, I forgot to write down. It's in the uh, Crochet Iconic Women book. I think it's what it's called. I'll link the book down below. And I'll try to remember to link the Etsy shop too. I think you can buy that pattern off the Etsy shop of the designer. Um, pretty sure, <laughs> I'll link it below. And then number five finished object was my lacy tank top by the lavender chair. That's a free pattern. For it, I used a J hook, which is a six millimeter. And uh, the yarn is Red Heart Super Saver Ombre Violet. Uh, and I also made the extra large size in case you're wondering. Uh, and that did use one full jumbo skein and then a little bit off of another one. Not very much at all, but just some. So just so you know, your origin on that. Let's see here. Number six was my patchwork cat, which was a lot of fun to make. It was kind of uh, a hassle, but it was still a fun make. It is a free pattern by the Underground Crafter. I like that a lot. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I didn't write down my hook and all that for that. Uh, and then my seventh finished object was the Fox Rattle. The picture is a really bad picture. It's hard to get a picture of it because it's shaped weird. It turned out a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. But June does like it, and that's kind of why it's weird shaped, is because she's been playing with it. <laughs> and it's already got like, uh, I don't know, drill spots on it. <laughs> Just little spots on it. It's, it's not great looking anymore. It's already getting uh, used. So that was a kit that I was gifted um, by Mary Maxim. I'll link it below if I can find it. Last time I looked at it online, um, the fox was still in stock, but I think the bear was out of stock. And there's a few other animals. I used a C2 hook for that, which is a 2.5 millimeter, and the yarn is really small. I think it might have been a size 2. Um, I didn't say it had like generic yarn with it in the kit. You know, it didn't have like uh, labels that said anything about the yarn. <laughs> and then my last finished object for June was my Poison Apple by uh, Fanny Toys, I believe. It's a paid for pattern. It also turned out bigger than I thought it was going to be, but that's because I did use worsted weight yarn instead of the DK weight that it called for. And I used a G hook for it as well, but it was a four millimeter G hook. There's two G hooks. <laughs> uh, and yeah, so that was my finished object. So I have eight finished objects. I still haven't finished my puffy sleeve sweater, although I have gotten some work done on that. I'll pop a picture of what it's supposed to look like. I'm using uh, Red Heart stripes, retro strap to make it. Uh, I got the first panel done, so I'm working on the second panel, and then I gotta attach them and then make the sleeves. I think that's all of it. I just haven't had a lot of time to crochet on it. Uh, and then my other project that's rolling over from June to, into July is the Halloween countdown that I just started, I think the last day of June. <laughs> and um, that's gonna take me a while. Hopefully I can get it done before Halloween. But it's it's a lot more um, complex, you know, cause it's, uh, it's a, what's it called, a graph. So I'm carrying colors. Uh, with bobbins 
and so I have to keep switching out the colors and it's kind of hard for me to do with the baby so I can only work like if Devin's got the baby or she's asleep I can work one or two rows and then have to put it up <laughs> so it's gonna take a while to finish that but uh, I think once I get the panel done the pockets and all that will be a lot quicker to make because it's all they're all solid colors but anyways <laughs> so I am working on that that is by the left-handed crocheter I'll link those two patterns that I haven't finished down below in case you want to check them out they are both paid for patterns but they're both awesome patterns <laughs> and then I did start a <clears throat> a round rug number two that like the one I made for June underneath her jumper I made started one for Jessie with blanket yarn and uh, it's technically not done yet because I need more yarn and I just haven't been anywhere that had blanket yarn. So I'll eventually get more of that. He still uses it right now. So it's kind of like a halfway finished object, I guess. Uh, he's using it right now, but uh, I'm just gonna add more yarn to it eventually. So that's all the crochet I did in June. Uh, some months I do a lot, some months I do a little bit. <laughs> but I'm, pre I'm pretty happy with what I've gotten done. And I have four ball bands to add to my um, bag of ball bands. I'm not keeping these for any specific reason other than just to be able to look at them at the end of the year and see what I all use because it's fun, you know. Um, and then I'll just throw them away. But I like to see it, you know, it makes you feel good that you used up yarn from your stash. So this right here is Red Heart Super Saver Ombre. This is the violet from my tank top. I used one full ball and then I have almost full ball left because I only had to pull a little bit of yarn out of the second one to use it. And then this is one of my uh, Red Heart Stripes, Retro Stripes ball bands. I have five balls of this, I think. So I did put one whole ball into my sweater and then I started the second ball on there. So that's one <laughs> of the five that I have. I don't know if that sweater is going to take all five of them, but I have five just in case. And then these other two are really big ones. <laughs> these are the Burnout Blankets from that rug, I was, rug slash blanket I was just talking about, about Jesse. Um, these are two big cakes that I was gifted from Lisa from Happy to Hook Crochet. So I used both of them completely <laughs> um, for that. And then uh, I'm gonna try to find some other colors that kind of match these ones. It's like a light blue color, teal color, and then two shades of gray and a white. Uh, this specific color, I think it's called Tiny Teal. Yeah, is discontinued. So I'm just gonna try to find colors that go with it because Jesse's not gonna care. He's not picky at all. <laughs> and, uh, but there, I have to fold these again in the bag because they're really big ball bands. So that's four more ball bands that I can add to my little um, gallon size bag that I'm saving them all in just to look at at the end of the year <laughs> to see what I all used. But I'm pretty happy with that. It's better than no ball bands. So this is four balls out of my stash. And I don't think I got any yarn gifted to me in June. Maybe I did. I can't remember. <laughs> I think I think I actually did get some ice yarn in June, but that's okay. I'm still trying to use up my stash. I've I've given given a lot of it away, and I've donated some of it. Um, and I actually have a pile in my bedroom right now that I'm going to be donating to a local um, retirement home here. That's usually where I donate my yarn to. But anyways, I'm I'm excited. So I got another page done. I need to make a July. Um, header <laughs> right there so my Halloween countdown and my puffy sleeve sweater is going to be continuing on to here I guess I'll just put July up here and start it here um, and then so far let's see here where is May do I have them I had them all counted up but I guess I didn't do it in May let's see here okay maybe I didn't okay let's just start over <laughs> January, did I write it? I guess I didn't do that in January. Okay, I had 20 for January. I was still pregnant at the time, so I had plenty of time to crochet. And I did 19 in February, so that's 39. And March, I had 11, so that's 40, 50, that's 50. Uh, April, I did nine, so that's 59. <laughs> And then May I had 14, so that's 69, 73, it's 73. And then 73, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 81. So I've had 81 finished objects so far in, this year. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's like half the year I've made 81 projects. That's, that's a lot of projects. <laughs> Some of them are really small though, so it's not like all big projects. But I'm excited. I've gotten one, two, three, four, five, six full front and back pages of projects. And this is page seven. It's 13 because, you know, it's um, 
what you know i like numbered them one two three four five six seven <laughs> that way but um that's pretty cool i'm doing pretty good so far i think so now we'll just see how the rest of the year goes <laughs> but i just wanted to hop on here and do that little uh thing hopefully i remember to put up all the pictures and all the links to everything i talked about will be down below if you want to check them out and I'll see you guys in another video. Uh, tomorrow is Wednesday, so it'll be watch your work on Wednesday. <laughs> but I'll see you guys then. Bye, guys.